Hi there, Pretty Presets fans. This is Zach with the Pretty Presets team. With Lightroom putting out a couple of new updates, a lot of you were asking when presets were going to be available in the mobile app. Unfortunately, that's not the case yet, uh, but we did want to put together a quick video that will show you a hacked together way, for lack of a better term, uh, of getting the presets into Lightroom Mobile. Um, it's a pretty quick way to do so. Uh, it really only involves uh, your computer and your phone. Um, so the, one of the things you want to make sure you do first is download the Lightroom uh, Mobile or Lightroom CC app on your phone, um, and that will get you started. Um, as a special bonus, we and to, and to help make the workaround easier to use on Lightroom CC, we have actually created thumbnail images for 15 of the most popular presets and uh, are making them free to you as a download. Um, these images will not come with the presets already done on them. You'll have to use your existing presets, but um, we did want to include them uh, as a free download to go with this post to allow you to easily see <laughs> where the preset settings are copied over on your mobile device. Um, so as you can see here, I've actually got those all loaded up and edited. Um, and what I'll do is I'll include those in a collection um, and, uh, and I'll sync those with my Lightroom mobile. Uh, is, this is gonna tell you where uh, or whether or not you're logged into Lightroom mobile uh, with the syncing process. So the way it works is uh, things that show up in Lightroom CC will actually show up uh, on your phone as well as long as you are logged in with the same account on both and you have the subscription that allows you to do so. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I've got all of my photos ready. I've got them edited. Um, what you want to do is you want to create a collection. I've created one called Lightroom Preset Base Images. Uh, you just want to copy all those photos right into the collection. Um, and then make sure that that is getting synced to Lightroom. You can do so by right clicking on it and telling it to sync with Lightroom Mobile. Uh, real quick, I gotta get this one picture out of here. It doesn't belong with the set. Um, but now that I've done that, you can see that Lightroom is syncing the photos with uh, the, the Creative Cloud, they call it. Um, and once they are synced to Lightroom uh, Creative Cloud, they will be accessible in Lightroom Mobile as well. So um, it takes a little while, uh, it depends on your connection speed and everything else. Remember you are uploading large files. Um, so this does work with JPEGs as well as raw images. Uh, it will upload um, the edited files to the Lightroom Cloud. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead. Um, go ahead and open Lightroom Mobile on your phone. Um, and you should see already, hopefully, uh, that the base images are synced with your Lightroom Mobile. Um, I'm going to click here with my finger uh, on the cloud to show that everything is synced and backed up. Um, you want to make sure that you already have pictures on your phone. If you're not familiar how to do that, uh, just ask a question and we'll be happy to help. Um, here you can see the images are, um, are synced and they're pretty, pretty good looking. Um, they, they come in crisp and clear. They may take a couple, a couple seconds to, add, uh, to download, uh, but once they do, what you're going to want to do is verify that uh, the entire photo is downloaded to your device and then you're going to click on these three dots in the upper right hand corner right oh, hang on <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you real quick that you, you do have some some changes done to the sliders um, but we're going to go ahead and click in the upper come on <laughs> click in the upper right hand corner at those three dots and we're going to go ahead on down to copy settings and touch that now what that has done it has copied all of the settings all of the sliders just like in Lightroom uh, to your phone's memory and now we're gonna go back and we're gonna find a photo that we wanna apply the changes to uh, I'm gonna pick this picture of my son in uh, this little airplane cap right here uh, there it is once I've got that loaded up I want to go ahead and click on the right upper right hand corner again the three dots and now I want to paste the settings uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to apply all of the settings from the original image which was Blackthorn uh, to the new photo um, it will reset any changes you've made so make sure you are aware of that but now that you've done that you can go in and crop and rotate or, or make minor adjustments um, 
whatever you want to do, you know, to the photo. It's it's just like Lightroom. The only difference is you can't actually store the presets. But now that they're on your phone, um, you can go back and apply to any photos going forward. Um, and if you make any changes to those photos in Lightroom, they will show up in Lightroom Mobile. Um, you can save it to your camera roll. Uh, I usually do that in the maximum size. And um, now we're going to go into my photo app as soon as you get done seeing all the apps I have on my phone. And it should show up right there. Um, so touch it, and that's the edited photo that we just created using Blackthorn. So that's a quick and dirty way to get um, pre pretty presets onto your Lightroom mobile and use them going forward. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the group, and good luck.